like always this is Brandy from Southern Crafts DIY and of course I want to say hey to all my returning viewers and welcome to any new viewers so the first thing I'm gonna do of course is show y'all what is needed for this project which if you follow me on social media you'll have seen the items and you can also get it on the community tab all right so the first thing we're gonna use is I found this at a place called dirt cheap down here but you may be able to find something like this. It doesn't have to look exactly like this. It could be a picture frame, something. You can even put it together with pieces of wood. But I found this. It was a great buy. So I want to use this. And I'm going to... These are the color paints I'm going to use. You do not have to use these colors. You can use whatever color you want. I'm going to be using Grotto from Folk Art. Show you. Okay, I'm going to be using Snow White from Waverly. Now, I'm going to be using this purple painter's pen to write with. You can use whatever color you want to use. I chose purple. Okay. Now, I'm going to be using this because I thought it was so pretty. But again, you could pick a picture that you like. You can use tissue paper, napkins. If this doesn't work out the way I want, I will revert to my napkins. But I'm going to try this. I'm going to be using some glue, a glue stick. And then I cannot remember if I put this or not, but I'm going to be using my posh. So, let's get started. Yeah, so the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to paint this. And I debated on how I wanted to paint it. I didn't, I debated, I went back and forth between whether I wanted to paint it white or a different color. And I did choose to go with my green. Give me a second, y'all. It doesn't want to come out. Hold on. It was I removed the metal piece on the back, and for some reason they glued it in, so it was a little difficult to do. But that's okay. You work with what you have. Now I'm gonna, of course, paint it green, the grotto. I just, like I said, I really like this color. And I'm going to try to be careful because I don't want to get it anywhere else but in this spot. let y'all know you see these little specks of white let me get it closer I don't know if you can see them but there's little specks right here that didn't get all the way done I'm gonna leave them because it makes it interesting you don't have to all right so I'm gonna move on and paint the outer I'm going to use a smaller brush and try to carefully paint it.
most if y'all have seen me do projects like this before you'll know I also like to paint the back just to give it a more finished look all right so now that that's done we're gonna move on to the middle part well not middle part the top part I can get my paint open that is And I'm going to paint it my white. Yeah, well, this is drying. We're going to work on the next step, and that is putting this on here. And like I said, I really don't know if this will work, but we're going to try it. Oops. I'm not really 100% sure how it's supposed to work. Sorry, y'all. It's cut. Okay. I'm just gonna add the glue all over and see if this really works. Okay, let's try. And the whole point is, is I want these little Ridges to show through the paper if I can. So that's what I'm trying to do. All right, so I think that worked. Well, I'm gonna cut it just to make this a little easier. I'm going to cut and then I'll go back and I will um, trim it but right now I just want to get this smaller and go from there all right so let's see Now I'm going to add Mod Podge. I hope this works y'all. Like I said, I, I'm not sure, but I'm going to go with it. There's another YouTuber, I think it's Hot Humble Pie. I don't quote me on it. That does do this. But I don't know what all she uses on, and she says it works. So, and I'm pretty sure it's hot humble pie. So I am gonna try it. Just because 
I don't mind trying new things. Now, I'm going to tell y'all, which I did not tell y'all before and I should have. I mean, if y'all have seen some of my, my Easter sign this year, you'll know. These, this paper I got from Hobby Lobby, but I got it in a um, pack, a pack of a bunch of them for five dollars. But you can go get single for less than a dollar, y'all. Less than a dollar. And if you use it right, you can use it for more than one thing. So it never hurts to look in different places, even places you think might not be necessarily cheap. To find what you need to use so now I'm gonna let this dry and then we'll find out if it really worked so fingers crossed feels pretty dry we're gonna attempt to cut it and see how it works it's been tricky on me it's tricked me before so don't know about this. <laughs> Alright. Alright, y'all, give me a second. I'll be right back. Tell you what I'm doing. And I will fix that. I don't, I don't know what to do about it. To make it stop doing that. I've tried several different things. Said I'm gonna fix the part that ripped. I don't know, y'all. This stuff does what it wants to do, I think. Alright, <clears throat> now for the next step. Just super simple. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna stick it in here because this is now dry. And look at that. It's not really noticeable where it broke. Okay, so the last step I'm going to literally do is I'm going to write on the inside. Hold on a second, y'all. Okay, and the way you use these pins is you got to shake it well with the cap still on it. Got to give it a good shake. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take and you're just going to press down until the paint comes out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write happy mother's day and that's what I'm going to put on it and that's simple and it is done as soon as that dries it'll be completely done. Alright y'all, this sign is done, 
but I am going to add a little extra to it. You do not have to do this. This is optional. I just wanted to show y'all if y'all want to make it stand and be able to put something on it. I'm going to show you a little extra. So you're going to need six tower blocks from Dollar Tree. And you are going to need, I'm sorry y'all, thought I had that, a uh, clothespin. I would go with the smaller one. Let me show you. Just because, I wish I had one a little bit bigger than this, but I just have a little mini one because it gives you more room to put stuff. A bigger piece. But you can do this. See? It just depends on how big of a piece you want to put on there. So let's get to this part. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to glue my little clothespin on here and get it out of the way. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be using some miter shears, miter shears to cut two of these, block, four of these blocks, oh, sorry. Two of them you're going to want to cut at a 22 and a half degree angle. And two you're going to want to cut at a 45 degree angle. Sorry. And you're really not going to want to take much off. Just enough to give it a slant and I have fun with that. That's fine. I'm sorry. Giving me problems now, y'all. <sighs> I'm sorry. All of a sudden, I can't do it. There we go. I'm sorry, y'all. I don't know what happened, but. And then, of course, you're going to want to paint your three pieces. Your six pieces, I'm sorry. I'd sand where I cut them just to get them a little smooth. Give me a second, y'all. So. I'm sorry about all the fuss. They were giving me problems for some bizarre reason. I don't know why it wanted to give me problems. So your next step is you're going to paint them the same color that you used for your sign. And I use Grotto from Folk Art. And you're just gonna paint them. Now, I painted all the sides because I just wanted to make sure none of the natural paint showed in through. Not paint, natural color, I'm sorry. <laughs> you just do this real quick. And then we'll let them dry. Once we get them all painted. Okay, so once you get all six of them painted, you're gonna glue them together to make a little now I could also cut this this way, but this is fine the way it is. I didn't want to get too crazy with it because I am not good with the cutting. And different you know matching them up because like I said I could have cut this this way and fit them together but that's fine the way it is it still looks good and then after you're done with that and you got all six pieces glued together like they're supposed to be you're just gonna take and you're gonna glue it to the back
and you're just gonna do it like that and let them dry and that's literally all you have to do I'm sorry I don't think I got it in camera but you just glue it to the back like that and try to make sure it doesn't go past the edges if it does like I did on this side it's not a huge deal but <laughs> isn't that gorgeous and it stands up and you could put a photograph or whoever gives it could put a photograph a card a recipe and look how great that looks all right y'all that's it for today's video I think this came out looking absolutely amazing and like I said you can do it either way you can either do it where it doesn't have the stand or you can make the stand the original plan was not to make a stand but then I thought y'all might like that so I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please 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 like share subscribe and comment down below I'll see you next time bye